You remember a couple years ago when Kim Kardashian posted some scan results on her Instagram story to prove that she had the body fat percentage of an athlete, but everyone just focused in on the fact that it showed that she had breast implants, which she's denied forever? <laughs> well, I just did that same scan. And the jury is back after much deliberation and I, in fact, do not have breast implants. However, I wanted to kind of share the results with you because it's a new year and I am committed to trying to get really healthy and strong um, this year. Emphasis on the strong part. I really want to build muscle mass because I know how important that is to your overall health and longevity and that is what I am aiming for. So, I don't know how much of this personal data I should cover up. But this is, my, my little skin is definitely not as cute as Kim's, as Kimmy's. Um, and this one shows that I don't have anything foreign in my chest. I think that's the one that she shared. But it does tell me a lot of information. I don't know how interesting this is for you, but this is a DEXA scan that I did. And it is meant to measure your bone mass, but it also will measure your fat percentage and different markers like that. I don't really know how this works, and I don't know if it would be that interesting to you guys if I went into depth about it. But basically it says that I have 102 pounds of fat-free mass, which is everything except fat, I believe. And then my fat mass weighs 67 pounds. So I have 67 pounds of fat on my body. I don't really know what that means, but it seems like a lot. We got a truck now. So anyway, it says that I have 40% body fat, which seems like a lot, which is interesting because I have already lost 40 pounds. So I wonder what it would have been before I lost that amount of fat, which I could definitely do math and figure that out, I guess. Maybe I should try to figure out. The real reason that I wanted to get this test done is to measure my bone density just because one of my parents has um, an issue with their bone density. So I wanted to check mine and the scores are good is what the doctor said. The BMC, which I guess is the total weight of my skeleton, not including bone marrow, is 4.7 pounds, which is weird to know that that's how much my skeleton weighs. They said dry skeleton, so I don't know how they figured that out. Um, they did tell me my BMR, which is my basal metabolic rate. So I burn 1,329 calories a day as a base rate without any exercise. Um, and it gave me kind of calories to lose weight, maintain weight, and gain weight. The second most interesting thing to me was my muscle percentage. I am right below a normal healthy human. So there's athlete, fitness, healthy, low muscle, and sarcopenia. And I am at 6.91 and a 7 to 8 is a healthy normal. And I would love to go from borderline healthy normal up into the fitness percentage. Um, I have been losing weight and not exercising for the last year. I have been on a GLP-1 and just focused on losing weight and I haven't been exercising so I know I've lost muscle mass. Going into this new year I do want to continue losing body fat but I want to really build a lot of muscle especially from home because I don't want to pay for a gym but I'm going to share that journey with you guys. <laughs> look at this. That is a crazy body shot. Look at my body there. Um, that looks scary. I'm like not super stoked on what these pictures look like. I guess they like squish it so it's not 3D. It's 2d and so this is like my body fat spread out i don't really know but <laughs> that's, that's what the inside of my body looks like which is weird um but anyway i am going to try and do another scan i don't know if i'll do one at the end of the year or do one like in six months or something just to see how much muscle i can gain and how low i can get my body fat percentage i don't want to be crazy but i want to just like kind of test what my body can do Anyway, I hope this video is interesting to you. If you are thinking about getting a DEXA scan this year, I would look into the facility where you get it done. I have read several things about how the machine can be calibrated incorrectly and how if a doctor is not doing the scan, then they can read it wrong. And I'm not really sure, but I would try to go to a clinic where they have actual doctors working and not just like a health spa. So thanks for watching. Happy 2025. Um, I've had a hard time so far this year, like getting started and building momentum. Like usually on the first of the year, I'm like, okay, I'm going to work out day one. Um, it's almost like two weeks into 2025 and I haven't done much, but I'm just going to try to progressively build momentum. And, um, I hope you guys are excited for this year too. This is going to be a good year. I hope. Okay. Bye.